Kid Next Door. Hello, welcome to the Kid Next Door. So this time we are here again with a scene drawing step by step tutorial for a barn with farm animals. This is easy, this is bright, this is colorful. So let's get started. I have my drawing sheet and I'm starting from the center of my sheet with a barn. So for that I'm using a ruler to make a rectangle. You can draw freehand also if you feel comfortable. And then I'm going for some detailing in the barn. So once you are done with the door, we'll draw some windows on the top and over it I'm going to draw the roof of the barn in a typical shape which is a distorted triangle. If you find it difficult, you can simply draw a triangular roof as well. So with this our barn is done then we'll draw a line to have a boundary for our scene and on the left hand side of the barn I'm drawing a windmill again with the help of a ruler. So once you have two slanting lines in the shape of triangle you can start drawing the blades of the windmill which are also all triangle shapes so this is a very easy way to draw the windmill and then you can add some more detailing in the windmill we're done all right now we are adding a fence uh, to give the farm a boundary So you may have a fence simply drawn like this. And then we'll add some landscaping. So I'm adding a tree here to add some more greenery to my scene. Alright, so this is how the tree may look like. some bushes here and there all right now uh, from the door of the barn we'll just add a path to uh, towards the entry of the barn and uh, with some more detailings then we'll start placing the different farm animals so I'm starting from left and side bottom corner of my sheet and I'm drawing some a duck in a pond so uh, it's easy to draw a duck, you start with a circular head and a broad beak and then the body and you show the duck swimming in the water. Then you can add the boundary of the pond and you can add some bushes around it to give the pond a beautiful sight all right we are done if you have more please you can add more duck or ducklings along with here so similarly on the right hand side bottom corner I am adding a pig in a muddy um, puddle okay so drawing the pig is very very easy you draw a circle and the nose inside and then a bigger circle the tail and four legs it's very very basic form of drawing again if you have more place you may add a piglet by the side and this is the muddy 
puddle area where the pigs like to stay all right now i'll be adding more animals so first of all i'm adding a rooster family so basically hen and some chicks along with so this is a rooster and you know all that how a rooster has a crown on the head and uh, colorful feathers so this is how you may draw a rooster then have hen and chicks by its side These are tiny chicks. You wish you may add some eggs also nearby. Alright. Next we will be adding cow. So I'm keeping cow on the right hand side only. We start with the oval mouth with nostrils and eyes on the top, horns and ears. So after the body you may add four feet, the tail and we'll add some black patches on the cow's body. If you have more place you may add more cows in the same side. On the left hand side I'm starting with a goat. So uh, look at the horns of the goat, they are uh, different from cow and there's a bed also. The body would also be very furry for goat. And then again four legs. Further I'll add a sheep on the left hand side again. So behind the goat, I'm adding a sheep. And the sheep is done. So in this way, the scene is pretty much complete. If you have more empty space around, you may add more animals uh, of the same kind or different kind. You may add a horse. You may add rabbit, cat, um, a donkey, right? So yeah, those farm animals you may add. And then I'm just giving a, a kind of a pavement around the, the path which was coming from the barn. And this is it. So we are done. Hope you liked it. Now it's time for coloring. And for coloring, I'll be using pencil colors. So I first start with the barn, which is characteristically red in color in most of the scenes we see. So I have simply colored barn with red, with windows in blue and the, the other details in the shades of brown. Once you are done with this, you may use a black pencil color to add some lines some vertical lines in the barn to give it more finished uh, woody feel so this makes the, uh, the barn looks really really complete then I have added in the sky uh, blue from the top and yellow towards the fence area I colored uh, the tree with different shades of green and brown in the trunk and the windmill I have used the gray and black to give some shade in it once all this is done we will get started with coloring the animals so in the animals also I have used very very basic coloring the duck is yellow with orange beak and blue water in the pond then in the sheep I have used pink in the face and gray in the wool the goat is brown um, the rooster family is in the shades of uh, yellow and orange. 
the pig is pink and the cow has also some shades of pink and black here and there so in this way i colored all the animals i, I also made sure to have the muddy puddle in brown colors near the pig further um, we'll start with the landscape so because it's a farm it, it needs to be predominantly green so uh, i'll be using different shades of green to cover the area before that i have just colored uh, the path coming out of the bar of the barn as uh, brown with dark brown shade and then I'll be adding a lighter brown color to give it a nice 3d look all right so uh, in the farm uh, I use light green color to color it I have left some white patches here and there which I'll be coloring with the other shades of green that I have to um, give some texture in the a grass like texture in the entire farm so uh, when we add these different shades of green the overall looks comes out to be really bright attractive and realistic so yeah that's it this is how the complete picture looks like you may add shades of brown but uh, the green really brightens up the entire scene so hope you liked it um, and um, don't forget to subscribe to keep watching our new videos uh, after you subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell icon to get regular updates from our channel thank you so much for all your love and support thank you for watching have a good day bye bye